Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and in this video we're going to be testing out a little device that we've actually seen covered by Anthony on Linus Tech Tips. But I was thinking, how would it apply to, say, a mining configuration, specifically the AMD mining rig, which has issues from time to time, consistently crashing and stuff like that. So, the device in question is the Micron E230. This is a little module. Uh, they come in various sizes, ranging from 2 gigabytes uh, up to 8 gigabytes. It does connect via USB 2.0, as you can see there. And it has something, it has a couple features that will make it better than a regular USB, right? And there's always that debate, especially with Hive OS uh, and among the crypto mining community, you know, what should you use? Should you use an SSD to install your Hive operating system on or a USB? Everybody will say SSD for sure. Um, but USBs are convenient, especially when you have large operations for, you know, corrupted data and Hive OS does get corrupted from time to time. And I've seen that and experienced that on many occasions with my AMD mining rig, which is why I wanted to test this out. Now, as I mentioned, Anthony did cover it in a Linus Tech Tech videos that I will have down in the description, but I think at time of filming of his video, he paid around 90 bucks for his 8 gigabyte model. While I was able to get mine for 50, around 50 bucks, you could get the 2 gigabyte one, but you don't, you won't be able to utilize it for a hive installation. Uh, so 8 gigabytes or higher. But honestly, is this worth it? Well, let me test it out. I'll present you the data in this video, and you can make a determination. Now, one of the benefits of something like this is. Um, with ECC or, or uh, error correction, we have the capability of possibly not corrupting our Hive OS operating system, which is why I'm going to have to do a long-term test of this device and the operating system overall, see how stable the system runs compared to my USB drives, and then go from there. Otherwise, I do have a SATA SSD on standby that I do plan on upgrading to the future. So this device is specifically just for testing. I will also have this video linked down below from Vertasium going over bit flips and how cosmic rays can impact everything from elections to space equipment or space shuttles, uh, satellites, so on and so forth. Very interesting video. Doesn't really have any direct uh, connection to this other than the fact that this has ECC memory, which can help us out and preventing the Hive operating system or this device or whatever OS is on it from really becoming corrupted. Uh, now, looking at the tech specs, it is Micron NAND Flash. Uh, it does support the USB 2.0 standard. Its performance is not much better than a regular USB. So its sequential reads is 30 megabytes, while its sequential writes is 28 megabytes on this particular model, and that's the 8 and 16 gigabyte, while the 2 and 4 is only 22 megabytes. Um, and it's not, like I said, much better than a USB. So a regular USB, the same PNY ones that I have here, is only 32 uh, megabytes on the reads and 24 on the write. So this has a little bit better writing capability, uh, but a little bit less on the reads compared to my PNY, you know, 16 gigabit or gigabyte USB drives. Additionally, endurance, um, it has a pretty good endurance, uh, about 8760 power on hours per year uh active 100 percent of the power on hours it's basically gonna do just fine uh and more importantly has 15-bit error correction code or ecc so this is what i'm going to be testing would using this prevent my amd rig from always having issues or always crashing right so it would lock up and then the watchdog wouldn't kick in and then it just stays stuck there overnight until I pick up on it and then I have to restart the system. And then when I restart the system, that Hive OS operating system is now corrupted. And then I have to go and grab another USB, which is already preloaded, plug it in and go from there, which is why switching or running off of SSD is much better. But I even had an SSD become corrupted or the Hive application or OS become corrupted on my OctaMiner. So it's give and take. SSDs are better if you are going to run it on your mining rig. However, we're going to slap this in my old um, 6 GPU frame. Uh, I believe the motherboard I'm going to be using is the H81, the ASRock H81 Pro BTC. Plug this in to the USB 2.0 header. Go ahead and flash Hive OS onto it and then plug this into the ASUS system. 
And by the time you see me again, we will be giving, you know, the overview, the thoughts, uh, the experience, if we had crashes, how many, so on and so forth. And is it better than USB? So bear with me while I do those tests for the next couple weeks. And of course, with the magic of editing, I'll be back in just a second. So it's been a few weeks now, and honestly, I can say the drive has been working flawlessly. Every time I had to power cycle the system, whether it's for maintenance, internet goes out, or I had to shut it down because we were working on our AC, every time I boot back up, it gets right back into mining, boots in the hive, starts mining away, no problems. It's honestly saved me a lot of headache because all the times I had to power cycle the system on a USB drive and even a SATA drive, nine times out of 10, it would be a corrupted OS. AMD drivers have a tendency to corrupt to OS, just FYI. But just like I mentioned, I'll have links to the various videos that I talked about or featured, uh, like from Anthony on Linus Tech Tips or from Linus Tech Tips for TCM, which just has some knowledgeable tidbits to help you out. And we can see here on this AMD rig that we're just hashing away, no problems. Don't worry too much about the clocks. I'm going to do some tuning. I just wanted to make sure the testing was the same before and after. And I've been testing this drive for weeks now. And I had no problems, even in a hot tent, because we can see here the commercial operating temperature is from 0C to uh, plus 70C, and then industrial uh, negative 40C to plus 85C. So in a hot grow tent that averages around 110 degrees Fahrenheit, um, this drive works just fine. The biggest downfall is the price of the drives, especially after Anthony did his video, and even after I purchased it, it is crazy in pricing we could see here the eight gigabyte model the one that i actually have jumped up from uh i think i paid 50, around 50 bucks now it's 200 dollars. that's crazy but i'm pretty sure these devices aren't made anymore um and we have to look for other alternatives like the super micro sata drive but it doesn't have ecc memory so that's quite unfortunate you are able to get the two gigabyte versions for around 24 uh 25 bucks there's a lot of three out there but it's not as efficient as far as cost because you can just go and spend 25 bucks and get a 10 pack of usb drives so is it worth it for me yes but i can't supply this to all of my rigs now right because i would have to pay 200 dollars for eight gigabytes of ECC memory and this drive is particularly used for more intensive applications not so much mining right you can just use a USB drive and a SATA drive but this particular drive has saved me a headache with my AMD system which is constantly restarting itself because of driver failures and also anytime I had to do maintenance on it or restart it or shut it down I always had a corrupted OS where I had to supply a new USB well that's not a problem because I have a whole pack of these things and all I got to do is grab a new USB, plug it in, and then I'm back up and running. But they oftentimes, even with a new USB, I would have issues. So this has just mitigated that and made my life, my life uh, less cumbersome with the constant restarts and the constant problems with the AMD rig. Now, I don't get this issue on my NVIDIA systems, but I have been getting on my AMD. So I can safely say that this particular drive has is worth its weight in gold for me. But it's not something I would say everybody go out and get considering the price of this particular drive. But I just wanted to share this experience with you. Um, if you have any thoughts or, or questions about it, please leave it down in the comments below. But that's going to do it for today's video. Please do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Don't forget to get subscribed and hit the notification bell to stay up to date. As well as check out links in the description. that will support the channel and what we do here. And I hope you have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you in the next one.